Welcome to Kazar's Spotlight of the Month TV show. Who will be this month's Spotlight Entertainer? Sit back, enjoy, and tell a friend to watch Kazar's Spotlight of the Month TV show. Welcome to another segment of Kazar's Spotlight of the Month. I'm your co-host, W. Keith Scott. And guess what? We have a new, brand new guest here today, Lance Hill. Thank Lance you. Hill is a producer. He's wrote his own story. And guess what? We've acted together. So yes. without further ado, Lance Hill. Yes, sir. Talk to me. Tell me about yourself. Let the audience know about you. Well, um, I grew up in, um, grew up in Washington, D.C., D.C. native, um, southeast and uptown Bloomingdale area. Um, came up in the area, you know, came up in the area where it was a lot of, um, drugs and stuff like that, you know, going on in, in the eighties and the nineties. Um, just kind of just got in the middle of everything. Um, mm -hmm. you know, and just doing things I wasn't supposed to be doing and just being hard headed, you know, and just mm -hmm. doing it, doing what I know I'm not supposed to be doing it. Right. And then just, you know, over the years and as time, as I got older, I matured and, um, you know, learn how to be a good businessman. Um, had my own businesses and and run them and, and, and you know, and do the right thing. So I've been I've been blessed to be able to come from that aspect to where I'm at now. Yes. Well, Lance, I, I wanna just because you said you're a businessman and we're all businessmen mm -hmm. and women, uh, I wanna just go off track a little bit okay. and talk about your business. Because, I mean, I think I just heard, what, 27 years? Yeah. Um, well, that's something to, to be proud of, to, it is. to last that long. My brother has his own business, and he's been doing it since I was a young kid. So right. I just want the, the audience to know about this before we get into that other okay. entertainment part. Okay. Well, um, I have a pest control company that I started back in 95. So so I'm still pushing, you know, still wow. still a good business. Um, it, it, it's been taking care of me. For a long time to be able to do you know pay my bills and mm -hmm. put money up and just enjoy life see there and then i just learned how to offer that business to do other businesses like my home inspection um my um just started production my production company mm -hmm. limelight production i just started that so i'm kind of just putting everything under an umbrella which i call it the um, umbrella corporation umbrella corporation that's what i call it because all my businesses are under the umbrella mm -hmm. So I'm just kind of just building that up over the years. And, wow. and I also have a, um, me and my lady, we have a, a bartender business <laughs> as well. So, <laughs> well, so you go from this way yeah, to that yeah, way we, to go, yeah, you're yeah, just it, it, all over the place. You though. know, it's, it's, it's just, you know, multiple income, you know, is what I call right. it. Just to, you know, I love working for myself, love being a boss. So once you, you know, working for yourself and you get that down and you learn how to do that, then you just, you're able to duplicate your efforts. Yeah. You ever thought about teaching other young people about how, how to get started? Um, I, I, I have, um, if I could get that platform, mm -hmm. you know, how, from where I came from to where I'm at now, you know, right. I would like to, not, you know, I run into a lot of, um, like my clients, they have kids and stuff and yes. teenagers. And I'll talk to them sometimes when I'm doing, but sometimes they just don't understand. Right. You know, from they, they know everything going on now, but they, it's hard to try to tell them where you came from, what you've done, and where you're at now. So it's kind of, they just don't understand. Okay, well, at really that's a good segue into yeah. what's going on, what I'm getting ready to ask you now, because okay. I'm thinking about it. This, this, this man came up in the inner city, Washington, D.C., became an entrepreneur, yeah. doing his own business, yeah making things happen and now you go getting multiple businesses yeah. and outside of that you decide to come into acting when uh, when we first met you know you were first you was uh, as they say green, green. You know, yeah <laughs> you, you was green with that thing green. but what did i do tell the audience what i did well keith gave told me to get this book um <laughs> and i read that book inside out and it basically um some people think just acting you just act but you have to know how to and, 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 and know how to do it and when to do it and how to feel and feel it. Mm -hmm. The acting is not just, you know, that. So it's more like comfortable 
I got real comfortable with it. The book really helped me a yeah, whole lot. 12 steps, right? Was yeah. It? yeah, 12, 12 steps. steps. It really helped yeah. me a whole lot because I think without the book, I probably would just be... Surface acting. Yes. Yeah, That's what acting. I call it. I call it surface acting. Stuff. Just da-da-da, blasting out lines. Yeah. People think it's like that, but yeah. it, it's, it's much deeper than that. And once you get to learning how to do that, and mm -hmm. it's just, you become that, that character. And I think in this movie, um, I pretty much was doing a lot of my acting basically without a without a um, strip. Uh huh. It's natural. Right. Right. I mean, so ad libbing. So ad libbing. Yeah. I mean, yeah basically, see. just like ad libbing this, ad libbing that, and not even doing the script. I mean, we did a lot of that. And so are that you talking about good. the one that we did together with, well, with, with Jim DeGiso? This one, this one. Okay, so we, let's go ahead then. Let's okay, go ahead into one. that. The, the, what is it called? Um, to Live and Die in Washington, D.C. To D. Live and, and Die, die. Yep. in D.C. D.C. Now, folks, when I think about To Live and Die in D.C., where did you come up with this name? Um, I came up with it just um, thinking about a lot of my friends that's still here and a lot of them passed away. Passed away. Um, in the epidemic and um, a lot of close friends and just the area right. of Do it. Do you give any tributes to them um, um, in the film? Um, I probably will, but I, I, I might, just depends. Might um, just depends. Because it's not that. finished yet. So no, you it's not finished. So, you know, like I say, you still kind of think you finished and you're still throwing stuff in the movie. Still throwing Cause stuff. Because it's so much. I mean, I can't tell everything, but I can just tell enough. Because it's so much, you know, this, this went on in that time frame. Okay. Well, you audience... Know, uh, audience, if you didn't know, this film, To Live and Die in D.C., is my man Lance Hill's story. Actually, you wrote this story yeah. and gave it over to June yeah, DeGiso, June. who is, who yeah. is a film uh, maker, mm -hmm. to uh, Anna. He's a director also, but of course, and producer. Yeah. But uh, he put it together and, uh, yeah, and he's it, telling your story. Yep, yeah, put it together. I mean, just the way everything went. There's no extra we just put it on just like that content and um it, it's it's kind of it's kind of weird how i sit back and look at i can really see it's like a reflection in the glass i can pretty much see oh man i was doing this doing that you know this and that i can really see myself back then to where i'm like oh man you know well, that's what i was doing but like i said we ain't perfect right but you know my 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 goal was to do the movie because i was like well I started this way and I ended this way, but I'm mm -hmm. still here. Exactly. To be able to talk about it. Would you say you went from negative to positive? Yeah, negative to positive. Mm -hmm. Negative to positive. And, I, and, it, and, and it might sound crazy, but I always say it, the streets have made me a good businessman. It really, <laughs> I mean, it might sound crazy, but it, no, it really it doesn't. Survival, road, survival mode of doing things that I like to do, it really put real, me real professional as far as running a business, mm -hmm. um, dealing with people. Yeah. You know, and there's a lot deal, of business I, people yeah. out there. Yeah. And, and it really helped me a whole lot. And I think if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't be able to run businesses like I do. Mm -hmm. Right. So the story is about you. Can you, I mean, what prompted you to do your own story? I mean, my wife just said, Hey, Keith, won't you just start writing your own story? I said, well, I don't know. I'm not ready for that yet. Yeah. So, I mean, what prompted you? How do you know this is the time for you to tell your story? Well, I mean, I'm at a, at a part of my life now where I'm doing different things mm -hmm. um, as I'm getting older. And I say, well, I can talk about when I came. I actually have a young Lance in the movie that's playing me um, 15, 16 years old. He's playing me, then it comes up to me. So he's really, I mean, he's really good. He, he's, he's, he acts just like me. Oh, he, serious? Yes, he had it down packed. How did he? How did he get it down like you? Um, just I just talked to him, had some meetings with him, you know, tell uh -huh. him what, what, hey, how I act. This is this is how you I was. Checking out the way you walk and everything. Everything. I mean, just the attitude, as far as when you know my father talked to me with it, just the whole demeanor, everything. He got it down packed. Wow. And I, I was kind of, I was impressed with so that. So you're impressed with the? Yeah, I, I was impressed with that performance. But, but I wanted to really do something, um, really write my own story, and um without writing it and being locked up 15, 20 years mm -hmm. and then getting out or something, but never did any time. So I just escaped everything, was able to wow. see and write this. But, you know, I had my nearly 
right. almost, he almost dead type of things, but I got out of it and, and, and succeeded to do awesome. the right thing. Awesome. And so telling your story now, um, how will it help uh, other, others? Or is that the reason why you told it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's going to basically show that how you can do negative mm -hmm. and do positive, but it's, it's more than just, you can't change your own lot of times, it's the people that you're around that encourage you, inspire you to do things. That's the only way you're going to be able to change. Because if I, don't have, if I don't, if didn't have the right people around me, there's no way I could, I could change. I could just keep going the same right. direction and not listening. You know, so to, you would say you would have to change your environment? Yeah, the change people everything. That you, the environment, that you the people with. you're around, your way of thinking, mm -hmm. um, being better with your money. Because, I mean, messed up so much money is ridiculous. Right. You know, being better with your money, invest it. Just be a little bit more cautious of things that you do as far as, you know, being, you know, being in business and being a businessman. Right. You know. So when I first met you, you were green. And now it's like... Um, You've you've written you've so you've acted you've written you are producing and probably some other stuff that you haven't even got a chance to tell me about yet. With all that said, though, how did you go around? How did you go about picking out the actors, or did you um, actually select? Yeah, we did a um. We had actually we had like eighty. We had like 80, 80 people. Eighty. Eighty. Um, it was crazy. But I guess when the pandemic hit, everything just kind of fell off, mm -hmm. you know, so we just had to, We still had quite a bit of people. We got people that still not even in the movie yet. Wow. We gonna, you know, just that we have. I saw the, lot, I yeah. saw the, uh, the thing go out for the uh, auditions and stuff. Yeah, it, it was And crazy. I looked at it. I had no idea it was your story, though. Yeah. It's like. I just I woke said, up. I just woke up key one morning. I was like, I told my lesson, man, I'm going to do my own. I'm going to do my story. And then June said, well, write this name. So I wrote it. It took me a week to write it. I mean, I ran right through it. A week? A week to write, to write out everything from when I was young. Because, uh -huh. I mean, it's me. How many pages? Oh, can I, I got about, about 50, 60 pages. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you I mean, serious? I, would just, I would be at work. Like, I get my little break. I just, I just write, write, write. And I would send to June down to the, how the characters and the, uh -huh. my buddy, how he used to act. I mean, down to everything. Just, just writing stuff. Wow. So do you have any homeboys back then that are still homeboys now no. or no? Because no. you had to change over, yeah, right? Yeah, I had to change, But yeah. did you mention them in the film? Um, I, didn't, I didn't really mention them, just took some characters. Characters, okay. Yeah, because so you got to be didn't... careful with the names. So I just pretty much did characters um, of, the, of the guys that's actually that was with me. Uh -huh. They actually act in the character out, which, which has me laughing because I'm like, you act just like them. But it's not, <laughs> not serious. But the names are just different, but it's definitely the characters. Definitely so, the yeah, characters. Definitely huh? characters. So it's loosely based on that, on those characters, yeah, on, those on those individuals. Yeah. Individuals, That yes. played a part in your life. Yeah, played a part of my life. Yeah. Wow, that is awesome. So are you in the film? Yeah. Are you playing yourself? I'm playing me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing me, See, man. That's what I'm, I'm talking I'm about. Playing, I'm playing <laughs> me from when it's time for me to start doing my part. When the young Lance is, uh -huh. is done, then I come in. Then there's a whole nother. Then you come in doing your thing. Yeah, huh? doing my thing as as a older me and just a real calm when I'm doing. Uh -huh. You know, nothing. What? Add Look nothing in you. there. Just just doing me and 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 doing my little transact. Whatever I was doing back then. That's that's how I came in on the second part of the movie. And then towards the end. It's like a young part. It's like a middle part where you're doing, you're just out there. And then uh -huh. you got that part towards well, the end where well you... you're starting to steer straight now? Steering straight. Uh -huh. You know, you, you work. And I had, bar, I had um, five barbershops um, back in the 90s. When I got out the street, I had barbershops. Um, and then I went into pest control. Uh -huh. So I was always, you know, like to have my own business. I had all my shops was in D.C. I had five shops I have in to D.C. Go, I yeah. have to go back. What... Who told you you could have your own business? What, I mean, what, what inspired you with um, your own business? I guess the street. I mean, because the, the street. Because, I mean, when you're in the street, you're your own boss. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you're making money, you do what you do. I mean, you're your own boss in the street. So that encouraged me to get my own business and just, just always, like, man, me starts, me do this, do that. It would be anything, T-shirts, I would just, anything. But now I'm into something lucrative, more, something that's going to make me money. Right. If it doesn't make me any money, I don't even want to deal with it. 
you know, but it has to make money. It can be a process where it can take a while to do it, mm -hmm. which is cool. Slow money is the best money. Right. So as long as I have a good, you know, in it yeah, where I can figure, make, yeah, figure it out, yeah. Where you're going to make some money down, down the down road. Down the road, yeah. Yeah, so it has to be a, it has to be a business where it's going to be, um, you know, beneficial at the mm -hmm. end. So to live and die in D.C. and uh, June, June DeGuiso, we've mm -hmm. had him on the show several times. Mm -hmm. uh, why work and why, why did you work with him? Man, that's, he's my, June inspired me. He's a good, he's a good teacher. Um, I learned a lot from him. He didn't mm -hmm. want to push me. Serious? Yeah, he pushed me. He, hey, man, he, he would put it in my ear and I would just, nah, man, I'm going to work with you and do and then he kept putting my ass up once I said, well, let me, let me go ahead and try it. And okay. once I tried it, I said, that's it. I'm going to turn it back. <laughs> yeah, June is, June is good. Yeah, June He's is good. He's good people. I've known him for some time. Man, he yeah. like, what I like about June, he likes to, he the type of person that he'll help you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you need anything, he'll help you. It's not a thing where, oh, man, you're doing this, doing that. He, he help you. Right. And that's what, that's what it's about. That's having that, that good circle of people around you. Yes. That whatever they're doing, they invite, oh, hey, hey, you can do it too. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why Kazar and I, we, uh, one of the reasons right. why we do this show, because uh, to get away from that crabs in the bucket effect where that's everybody it, trying to scratch and crawl like, like there's only one, one right. stage. There's several stages for all of us. We right. just got to get out and get it. You know, you don't have to hate on anyone or, yeah, yeah. or downplay anyone. And I mean, it's enough, it's enough space for everybody to do whatever you got to do. Yeah. But I'm just a more like a consistent person. Mm -hmm. Once a morning, a morning, I don't even, I won't, I stay on it. I can stay on your neck all day. I will not get off of it until, I'm, until I feel that, okay, we good. Everything right. is done now. But I, I start, I have a lot of projects. I start one, I keep on going, finish it, go to the next one. Go to the next one. So you have I, it. Yeah, I hate to start. So you always focus. You always, I'm always focus. I'm always working. You know, I'm uh -huh. always, my mind always going. You know, my ideas come up. It just, I don't know. It's just, I guess it's just something that's... That's a good thing. It's a good thing. That's Mine a good thing. Well, good. I got to tell you, I am proud of you. And, uh, and I just say, man, you're just jumping by leaps and bounds. You're just yeah. doing that thing. And I'm glad to be a part of helping you, you know, see some of that, those roots as far as the acting part. So mm -hmm. I can't wait to see the film. Yeah, in fact, about it, I might pull you to the side when we get out of here and slide you a couple of bucks and get me in. We got to see how the movie thing going. So we got to see which way it's going, yeah, though, right? <laughs> yeah, but we, it's going to get out there at some point. I'm, I'm going to have an idea of something, so it'll get out there. Yeah, folks, I was joking. You don't have to slide anybody any money <laughs> to get a film. <laughs> All right, that's me and Lance just just having fun, man. Great. So, where's the film being? I mean, where are you filming at? Well, I might um stream it. Mm -hmm. Might just stream it because there's no stream movie it. theater. Yeah, I think I'm um stream it. Um, okay, that's what how you gonna that's what you plan to do with it. But yeah. I'm saying, where did you did you actually film it in DC? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. Um, yes, we did. We did uh, a lot of stuff. We did in DC. Mm -hmm. We did a couple of scenes in Maryland. Um, but mainly a lot of stuff was in D.C. A lot, a lot of, of mainly a lot of was in D.C. Yeah, a lot of stuff in D.C. Okay, well that's good. Um, I, I I see the uh, the film itself. You know, talking mm -hmm. about you and just knowing you and hearing of your story about it. You know, showing it in places, community centers, or something, mm -hmm. just to inspire uh, right. folks because the young kids out here, they you know. They see what they see, right. and you know how it is out here. And right. everybody, I mean, it does. It, it's a struggle naturally, mm -hmm. but we can all overcome that, you know. Right. Uh, and with that overcoming, we need to see people inspired. Like, okay, he did it this way, and he did that, he did that, or right. she did this, or she did that, and that gives them a, a leg up to right. say, okay, yeah, I guess I can do that. Mm -hmm. uh, the, <clears throat> for me, it's all about dreaming. I'm yep. pretty sure before you started writing, you had to go back in your mind, recollect the mm -hmm. things that happened and say, well, wow, this sounds good. This sounds good. And this is what happened. And this is what happened. And then when you pass that on to June, mm -hmm. June being the film, you know, he probably put it in the dramatic sense, right, you know, right. added some drama to it and, you know, and, and a playwright sense and then just took it from there. Because he would ask me, hey, did this really happen? Yeah, yeah, it happened. Right. He's okay. She was like, huh, did you, you know, like I made a mistake or something. He said, like, no, I said, that, that happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, that happened, you know. Okay. It's just, it's so is there any action in the film? 
Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's got a couple, couple killings in there. Um, mm -hmm. It got a little bit of action in it. Uh -huh. it. Got a little bit of action in it. It's not. It's not. It's not a basically like, like you look at a, a movie where or a film where it's just constant action. Mm -hmm. You know, it has a lot. Of, it has a lot of dialogue in it and and different people doing this, different that. It doesn't jump. It doesn't. It doesn't jump from this to like. Hold on. What the, you know, how you look at a movie and it <coughs> jumps. Mm -hmm. it's, it's consistent. Okay. So it's consistent. So when we go back. Uh Say we go back to the '80s. How do I know that I'm in the '80s when I'm wa when I'm watching it? Um, so far, no. Well, you know the the, the cell phones, the pagers, the, the gold chains, <laughs> the, the, the clothes. You, you mean know. you got some flip phones in there? Flip so phones I need to, in there. I told my wife when I was going through my flip stuff. Phones. She said, uh, "You keeping the flip phone? Yeah, I might need it for a set." <laughs> yeah, I got a bunch of those. The flip phones. We got the we got the drugs in there. We got we got everything in there. Pretty much, it looked like a. No back and I got a, I got some old cars in there. Um, a couple wow. guys came out with some old Cadillacs. Put in there. Actually, I had a couple old Cadillacs myself. I got a '74 and a '70, '76. Wow. That I haven't even put in the movie yet. So I'm going to yeah, I'm going to put throw those in there. Um, Cause it's hard to find the old cars like the '70s, you know, the yeah. old. I can I see it. the cast and they be, they be right. casting the car before they cast the actor. Right, right, yeah. exactly. So <laughs> I just went on with the old cars. Um, the old Cadillacs and stuff like that to throw in a movie, you okay. know, to kind of give it a little bit of different feeling. Give it a feeling. Yeah. not like a it, shaft it, type of thing. Put but you in know. a sense, right, yeah, right, because sense. that was what was going on yeah. during that time. Yeah. I would have been surprised, I wouldn't have been surprised if they wouldn't have, June would have suggested that we go ahead and put you on the Afro, man, or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we didn't go that far back in the 70s. We try to keep it, you know, we try to keep it in the 90s. Because mm -hmm. it's hard to shoot a lot of scenes when you got like you got an old building that was here is tore down. You got a new building. new building. You know, I try to I try to do a lot of stuff without showing something that's we're doing something old. But then you got something new in the new background. In there, right. It was very hard to to avoid that. But I was like, June, we can't shoot that. You got to take that out. We we can't because it exactly. just because I know it's there and it, that wasn't there back you then. You remember it, right. right? It has to be something old. Or we just do another angle. Right. Type right. of thing. You know, I took kinda, you to the seventies talking about the yeah, afros and yeah, stuff. The 70s, yeah. <laughs> when we talk about the nineties, we but the talk about the cars gonna bring you back. Gumbies, yep, the, the gumbies, the slope, yeah, you know, yeah, and, yeah, the the, and the high top, uh, yep. yeah, the box, yeah, yeah the box oh, fillies and stuff. Yeah, yeah. box fillies. I don't think yeah. we had too much of that in there, but we we kind of think we kind of come a little close, mm -hmm. um, you know, for that. So hopefully people won't be like, okay, well, what is that? The nineties, okay. Nineties. <laughs> you got I mean, you look at a movie, you gotta have imagination, right? You know another thing that probably would do that? One of them old 90s jams that just kick in there. You get the rights to uh, to play that during the well, scene I got, or I something. Got, oh, I got some music in there. I got, um, I got Phil Collins in there. I got um, Isaac Hayes. Uh oh, okay. I got some, I got some songs in there. Okay, because yes, that also helps put you in that set, yes, set you in that mood. Yep. Okay, yeah, I remember back there, yep. you know, people like, uh, um, they say BC BC time or before mm -hmm. Christ. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, exactly. exactly. Uh, before, I mean, I think music makes a, I church. think music makes a movie. Mm -hmm. um, so it's having just instrumentals in there. I mean, a lot of instruments. I got Marvin Gaye in there. Well, so I, mean, I got quite a bit. <clears throat> just got to put it in the right spots. But it's, it's right definitely gonna be like, okay. It's, it's gonna kind of get a movie a little bit of a little bit wow. of tempo. So I'm excited about yeah. hearing about and seeing this, checking checking it out. Mm -hmm. So you think um, you're thinking you're going for the streaming as yeah, far as getting it out there? Yeah, the <laughs> streaming. Um, uh, Tubu, Tubu. Um, uh -huh. Want to get it on there? I had actually talked to those people um, a couple months ago. Uh huh. So I have to just kind of they get back to me, but I'm gonna try something else before then. Yeah. Waiting get on them to, to do that. Get to check it out. Yeah. In the um, Festivals, you know, June's got his own festival, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're gonna be we're gonna be doing the, um, the fest. I'm gonna do the festival um, with him on the 27th, and um, we're gonna come up with some ideas of doing some good stuff. Okay, well that sounds we got good. Some, we got a project going on, but we we talk. I like to talk about that with the other with the other with the other group. Okay, that's another um, thing that we have going on that we'll be starting. That um, sounds good. Uh, I've seen a lot of stuff out there. Uh, some guys that I follow <clears throat> on YouTube, okay. and they do some some twenty minute skits or whatnot. I, I don't even, I don't even know if you can call it a skit. Yeah. It's just little mini mini shows, those. 
and they're, <clears throat> and they're pretty good. They're, they're and pretty that's, good, that's, and I'm looking at the camera yeah. action. You yeah. don't have to go to Hollywood to do all no. this anymore, mm -hmm. you know. And in fact, about it, I got a, uh, another guy that I know. He's up in Richmond, Rico, and he's he mm -hmm. did his film, which is in also in the uh, part of the uh, up for a uh, nomination okay. for the show, uh, for the film festival. Okay. Um, he did it with a dog on iPhone. Wow. Yeah. I and then um, I I will listen to the SAG report and they talk about people doing and this was like five years ago. I was part of. Uh, uh, one of those little film festivals, okay. and there was uh, a set of a group of people who did all their stuff mm -hmm. on an iPhone, wow. and it's all about them programs yeah, and is. and the lenses and everything. And you, the phone was amazing, you, ain't they? Yeah, they do a lot, but you just don't know all that. I mean, they do so much. Mm -hmm. That techie with the with the phones, they do right? A lot. It captures what you need to capture, yeah. and then you just go back and yeah. go into the editing software. Yeah. And then I went back because I use, you know, I use a Mac. Mm -hmm. And my first video I did, I actually, I used the same program that they're using. So I was like, wow. okay, well, I can do it. Wow. I just need to sit down, take the time, yeah, and yeah. go for it. And that's what I want to do, Keith. I want to do like a little mini. Um, I want that because I got quite, I got some cameras. I bought, been buying cameras and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I want to do like a little mini one just to, just to get out there and see. Okay. Just for myself, to, to get the angles and, and learn how to do the, you know, the shooting and all that. Well, I want to do the same, but yeah. guess what? I, I guess I'm not going to spend the money in the big cameras and stuff. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to get me an iPhone yeah, or two. Yeah, just some Lumix. And, and, and go ahead and see what I can do and, yeah. and just go there. Because I believe that in, in the film, um, you know, that is one area, but you can write and, and right. be the director and the right. film. Uh, the filmmaker as well, and I'm just thinking, you tell the right stories. That's a, those are the inventions that are still out there, the people and the way they tell their stories. And with that said, I'm so glad that you told your story. I can't mm -hmm. wait for that opportunity to check it out. Uh, don't know how far you are to, to, how close you are to completion of the yeah, film. Yeah, we got a couple, we got, um, see we got an hour and, I think we got an hour and 15 minutes so far. So I think we got another, I think we'll do an hour and a half. Hour and a half, so you got yeah. 15 more minutes, right? Yeah, yeah, 15 more minutes, right. then we're going to cut it there. Okay. And get it edited and go over there. And then go from there. Yeah, <clears throat> put it out. Well, um, we got to make sure we're connected so I can okay. continue to keep up with you, see what's going on. Okay. So um, for, the, for the audience out there, the people out there, the young people um, who want to tell their story, who want to get into what you're doing, can you... Can, can they connect with you on social media? Yeah, they can. Um, I'm actually on, um, well, the, the, to live and die in Washington, D.C. That's my, that's my site um, that everybody, we put all the movie stuff on there. Mm -hmm. They can go to that and get in contact with me. Um, okay, go ahead and tell them what that, how to that's, reach you. That's uh, to live and die in Washington, D.C. That's actually on Facebook. Okay, okay. We just pull it up and it come right up. Gotcha. Then you have to send me a... Um, what is that, a uh, request? Friend request? Yeah, request, and I add you right in there. Okay, and what about other social media? Um, I'm on Facebook, um, personal, little personal stuff on there, just everyday stuff I do on Facebook. You can get me on Facebook. Um, that's that's uh, Willie Wimp. That's my name on Facebook. Mm -hmm. you, can, um, you can get me on there, friend me on there. Okay, Inbox Sounds me good. or whatever if you got any questions. Sounds good. All right, then. On there, so. All right, then. Well... <sighs> that ends another segment of Kazar Spotlight of the Month. Check us out next time as we highlight another DMV talent. Thanks again. I'm W. Keith Scott, and we're out.